Here is another mobile home tour for you. Another beautiful home, two-tone. It has the gray and white two-tone. You've got a dormer at the top. Really pretty, lots of light. I don't see the name of this one, but I'll be sure to place it here in the video and also in the description box. So let's go take a look. Right, so here we are, just walked into the home and already I love the openness of it. So nice, look at that. Everything's just right here, but it has its own little section. So, here's the front door. And to the right of the front door, you have your living room area. You have your feature wall with shiplap. And I love how there are multiple things going on here. You could change out the color, you can leave it as is, or you can take it down all together. This is an upgrade. So you have your wood look here, uh, two-tone gray and white, and then you have your shiplap in the middle. Your TV can go on that wall. Um, and you have a partial wall here so you really have an open feel. This is really nice. Really a lot of space over there in your living room area. I would put a ceiling fan in there just to circulate the air. Uh, I love a ceiling fan. Even though I don't have any at present, I'm sure by the summertime I'll, I'll talk myself into getting one. So we're gonna scan the kitchen, but we're gonna look to the left of the living room area and there's your dining room. So you have another partial wall, kind of gives it, gives it separation. So when a person walks in, takes their shoes off, sits them by the door, and then they can come in and see what's going on in the rest of the house. Really nice. Large table there. So you can see just how much space you have. And then now let's get into this kitchen because this kitchen is bright and I really appreciate that. Um, white cabinets, stainless steel appliances, silver hood over the stove, shiplap in the kitchen as well. Again, that's optional. Love the pendant lights over the butcher block island. Two, maybe three chairs can go there in the middle. You have the lighter uh, counter and then the butcher block in the middle. So I love the two-tone uh, counter space in here. You also have the ceramic stove top uh, in this model. White farmhouse sink this time and two huge windows over the kitchen sink. Very nice. Makes the kitchen look even bigger and brighter. Space for a double refrigerator. Most of these, even though they don't come with a double refrigerator, also have space. It, it's space, but you can absolutely upgrade. You can put, um, you have more space over here for another stool. I really like that. And then, you have your little coffee bar or butler pantry area here. And then you have pantry, a pantry there. And this actually comes with a barn door, but you could leave it open or put two regular doors there. I personally would have a, the barn door up. It's just not up in this model, but I would have it up. That would make for a super cute coffee bar for me you guys so pretty so from the kitchen as you're cooking you can see what's going on in the living room 
and you can see what's going on in the dining room and they too everybody's interacting with everybody so nice so nice everybody's interacting with the, each other nice so we're gonna go on this side first love the hallway space so open in here all right you got your utility room long utility room space for your washer and dryer under the shelving deep freezer here if you like you got your back door there and then you got your heat and air in there unit and your breaker box there i couldn't think of the name of it in a previous house but that's your breaker box bedroom number two big bedroom nice bed size bedroom you got a closet here nice size closet plenty of space in this bedroom bedroom number three is here and there's your closet over there all right you got your linen closet out here in the hall and this is a really nice area y'all Look how much space you have. Really nice. Here's your guest bathroom. It has two sinks in the guest bathroom. Nice, both your girls, both your boys, both your kids can get dressed at the same time. And then shower tub combination back here. So nice. Let's take a look at the master bedroom. Just as I thought. Large master bedroom. You have a long closet in here i would totally put more shelving there and more shelving there just to give it a bigger space and then here's your master now this is a huge shower double sinks linen closet area you got shiplap on that wall nice window and I love this tub got a soaker tub and then you got a separate area for the bathroom so nice I don't have to party to have fun you see I got different hobbies and that's all I need Some say life is boring But I disagree I wake up and live my dream Someday soon I'm gonna make it Yeah, all hard works Hi family, it's Christy with Designs by Diva And I just wanted to share my thoughts on the house First of all, please excuse the appearance because I just had surgery yesterday and I'm kind of like laying around and resting and I know I have bags under my eyes, but it's okay. I feel all right. But 
this is a mini farmhouse and as everybody knows if, if you watch any of my videos I love the farmhouse look so the shiplap the barn doors over the pantry and butler's counter slash coffee station if it was my house that was perfect I love the butcher block island I love the size of the island um I loved um, the openness of the house. It it gave me a feel of separation because of the partial walls in certain places, but still had an openness about it. So I really liked that. I liked, I could have even dealt with the dining room as you walk in because it had somewhat of a separation, um, yet openness. Um, so I really liked that. There was a hallway in the guest bedroom area huge hallway I love that space I thought it was a good use of space as far as how um, it was positioned the fact that it had a linen closet in the hallway was a plus um, I personally if I was ordering that house personally because it's just my husband and myself I would have put the double sinks in the master bath in the guest bathroom and I would have put the huge double sinks in the guest bathroom in the master bath. So I would have added square footage and I would have made um, my bathroom bigger and I definitely would have made all of the closets bigger. Um, I realized that everybody doesn't have as much stuff as I do and that um, big closets aren't a big deal. But for me, we would have had to have walk-in closets in all three bedrooms. That's my take on it. I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to hear um, good thoughts, whether you liked it or not, about how you feel about this house. So can't wait to hear from you. Talk to you soon.